All right, and welcome back, students. We are here with Northern Arizona University and their representative, Austin Joy, who's gonna be taking you through the presentation that he has for NAU. Again, while you guys are on here, go ahead and watch the video. Below the video, you have a short form that you can fill out if you wanna request more information from any of the universities and colleges that we're giving presentations on today. Just go ahead and fill that form out. We'll be able to get you in contact with the reps for more information at a later date. Uh, if you would like to participate in the chat room, ask other questions or anything like that, please go ahead and feel free to do that. It's located in the announcements section of the PSP homepage. You click there, it'll open the chat window in a synchronous session and you can go ahead and interact with some of the other students that are in there, as well as ask questions for the Q&A session at the end of this presentation on NAU. Um, again, Austin, we're very happy to have you here. Without Thank further you for ado, having me. Yeah, we'll let you take it away. All right, sounds good. So let's start the presentation. All right, so Northern Arizona, if you didn't know, we opened back in 1899 as Arizona Normal School. The picture posted on the presentation is our oldest building on campus that was built back in 1899. So let's get started. Oops. So we are ranked number eighth best college town by Travel and Leisure Magazine for the last two years. Our population is about 67,500 people. That does not include our student population on campus. We do have about 200 restaurants, coffee shops, and eateries around the Flagstaff downtown area. The Weatherford Hotel that's pictured in this picture right here is actually the hotel where they do the pine cone drop. So if you know what the, in New York City, they do the ball drop, they do a pine cone drop there since we are in the largest continuous ponderosa pine forest, the fun facts for you. We are very undergraduate focused. We have about 18,600 undergraduate students on our campus. We did just bring in our largest undergraduate freshman class of about 5,150 students. We are about 19 to one student to faculty ratio and our average class sizes on campus is about 31 students. So not very much larger than what your average high school class size would be. And about 93% of our classrooms do seat under 100 students. We do have about 91 baccalaureate degrees or bachelor's degrees on this campus with about 87 minors. And the way these degrees are broken up are into seven different colleges. So we have the College of Engineering, Forestry, and Natural Sciences. So this is where like our engineering program, our forestry program is housed. We are the only in-state university that does have a forestry department. Our natural sciences is like our biology, our chemistry, our physics, math, and different science majors like that. Our College of Social and Behavioral Sciences is like our ology college, so our psychology, criminology, sociology, archaeology, as well as social work, communications, public relations, photography, and all those majors. College of Arts and Letters is where our humanities is housed, so humanities includes like theater, art, um, let's think, theater, art, I'm trying to think of the other ones on here. Oh, history as well as English, just to name a few in those. College of Health and Human Services, this is where like our dental hygiene and our nursing program is located. So those are our two competitive programs that does have about 30 students that are in it each time and there is a separate application to do into those two degrees. Our College of Education, so as we were founded back in 1899 as an education school, this is where early childhood education, special education, as well as elementary education. If you are thinking about high school teaching, that is secondary ed, and that is through the college that you wanna teach the subject in. So you do have psychology, say you wanna teach psychology at the high school level. You will do the psychology bachelor's and get another degree in the teaching as well. W.A. Frankie College of Business, this is where like finance, marketing, all of those majors, as well as hotel restaurant management is located in this college. And that is if you wanna do like the hotel restaurant management side of the business. And our last college is not posted on this page, but it is a university college. It does not house any degrees. However, it does house like ROTC, so Air Force and Army, our math center for tutoring, as well as first year learning initiatives. So classes that freshmen can take their first year in college. All right, so next, our student life on campus. We have about 325 different clubs and organizations on campus. 
that range from like academics to religious to sports based. And if you don't find anything that starts your own, uh, you can start your own with four other students and a full time faculty member. And you can pretty much start anything you want. Last year there was a corn dog appreciation club on this campus, so I'm not really sure what they talked about, but it was a club on this campus. We also have concerts. So as you see here, Ellie Golding came last year. It was a free concert. The band Perry came. I've seen Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, just to name a few. All the student discounting prices, I never paid more than 20 bucks for a ticket to see any of them perform on campus. We also have Procknow Movies. So this is in our Procknow Movie Theater up on North Campus, right across from Old Main, that picture you saw in the first slide. They do show movies that are no longer in theater, yet not out on DVD, so they're kind of in that limbo stage. Free soda, free popcorn. All you need to do is scan your ID when you walk in, and you can eat as much popcorn as you would like. We are NCAA Division I in the Big Sky Conference, so some of our men's sports include football, basketball, cross-country track. Our women's sports include cross-country and track as well as swim and dive, golf, and a few other ones that are listed all on our website. For admissions into the university, we do require four years of English, four years of math, three years of a lab science, two years of a social studies, one year having to be U.S. history or American history, two years of the same second language, and one year of a fine art. And if you have these 16 core classes with a 3.0 unweighted GPA, you are automatically accepted to the university. We do not require SAT or ACT scores to get into the university. For some scholarships, we will require those test scores. If you do have a 2.5, you will be considered for admissions to the university. So financing your education, how are you going to pay for it? FAFSA is definitely the best way to go about it. Fill out FAFSA at FAFSA.gov. It does open January 1st. Our priority deadline is February 1st. So I know parents don't do taxes right off the bat. However, they can use last year's taxes. And once they file their current year's taxes, they can go back in and fill out and change what has changed from year to year. FAFSA will give you scholarships, university grants, federal work study federal and private loans. So the faster you fill it out, the more financial aid you will receive. We do have scholarships for in-state students. We have the Lumberjack Scholarship. If you do have a 3.5 GPA in those 16 core classes, that unweighted GPA like I was mentioning earlier, A's and B's, no C's, you are automatically awarded the Lumberjack Scholarship, which is full tuition. We also have the President's Deans and Merit-Based Scholarships. So if you are in the 3.0 to 4.0 range on that unweighted scale, as well as your SAT and ACT scores. We have a sliding scale that we can look at, and we can tell you how much you're going to receive between 2,500 to 6,000 a year is how much those scholarships are worth. So be proactive and get involved. Research the schools that you're interested in and know what they want from you. If some schools require SAT scores as well as essays, apply early. I know NAU's application is open, so you can apply right now if you are really interested in going to NAU. And pay attention to deadlines. Make sure you know when everything is due, such as FAFSA applications, scholarship applications. And like I was mentioning, fill out that FAFSA with your parents. It's a really great resource to get all that financial aid. And the last slide, nau.edu slash apply is how you would go about applying for Northern Arizona University. Thank you. All right, and thank you very much, Austin, for that presentation. Hopefully we have a lot of solid questions coming up. Uh, now, you did touch on FAFSA during the presentation. Do you see a lot of students who just overlook that when they're going to apply? Is that something that they really need to be on top of going forward? Yeah, definitely. Definitely get right into it. It opens on New Year's Day and apply as soon as you possibly can. And like I was mentioning, fill in and out. Use last year's taxes and once they file the New Year's taxes, go back in and edit it. However, it does supply the most financial aid and it will help you out. Okay, perfect. Now, if um, someone's filling out those forms. Mm -hmm. um, will they have someone that they can call at NAU to help walk them through that process? Will there be NAU staff to be able to, you know, 
assist them if they need it or? Definitely, yeah, you can definitely give me a call. I can give you my number, it's 928-523-6162 and I can okay. definitely help you out with filling out the FAFSA, direct you to where you need to go to help get that filled out. Perfect, all right. So does NAU have accounting courses or a degree in accounting? We do have a degree in accounting. It is under the WA Frankie College of Business. I only listed a few majors through each college, um, but I do have all the list of 91 majors that I can give you a pamphlet of okay. today, and you can let them know of all the majors that they offer on campus. Perfect. Uh, do we have any, uh, we have a student out there who looks like they want to be uh, a dance major. Is there a dance major or a dance program at NAU? There is a dance team. There is no dance major. Okay. Um, there are some classes called PES classes, which are like just physical education classes, mm -hmm. and there is a dance class. It's jazz, hip hop, and I believe ballet all in one class, and it's the whole okay. semester, and you get a credit for it. Awesome. Uh, we've got another question coming in here. Uh, would students be able to participate in cheer? So you said you have a dance team. Do you also have a cheer? We program do have a cheer team? program. Yes. Okay. And the uh, contact information for all the coaches I was on nau.edu. Just in that top search bar, okay. you can type in coaches and look at all the coaches for the different okay. sports teams. Okay. Awesome. And do you know are students able to do multiple? So if somebody wanted to play volleyball, would they also be able to do cheer at the same time or? Are they only able to do one because they might cross over during the season? How would that work? That would definitely be a question for the coaches. Okay. I do not know that off the top of my head. Okay. However, get in contact with the coaches and the sports that you're interested in and see how they can work that out. Perfect. So any of you students out there who are looking into athletics or you know crossing over from cheer to some sort of sport, go ahead and go to nau.edu. Uh, and then once you get there, go ahead to the athletics side of things and you can type in coaches at the top and you'll be able to find your way to the coaches and you can get in contact with them directly. Um, moving forward, we have a question about the nursing program. Uh, what does the nursing program entail at NAU? So I was like I was mentioning, it is in the Health and Human Services Department and it, uh, about a year and a half for prereqs. So you take those prereqs, you have to have, I do not know the GPA off the top of my head, however, I believe it's above a 3.5 and you have to take the nursing test to get in as well and the separate application. And okay. they only let about 30 students in each time, um, but definitely do those prereqs, get involved, and it will get all of that out of the way and just study hard and you'll be able to get into that program. All right. Um, do you have anything like poli-sci, political science majors, things like that? We do have a political science major. It is in our social and behavioral sciences college okay. and you can it's no separate application for that one the only two is dental hygiene and nursing with that separate application perfect um, and do you have any political clubs or anything like that on campus we do we have I can't think of the name off the top of my head but some of my friends were in it um, and they got to travel to like Washington DC and different places around the wow, okay. United States and oh it's United Nations it was United okay. Nations Club that's what the it was NAU called United Nations all right yep. perfect um, now, do freshmen uh, have to stay on campus when they're going to NAU? Freshmen are not required to stay on campus. However, it is highly recommended. Kay. And the cost is about, I would say, 49,000, 4,900, sorry, not 49,000, <laughs> 4,900 um, an entire year. So okay. that academic year, it's about, say, about 5,000 for that academic year. Perfect. Okay. So for any of our students looking to attend NAU, uh, go ahead and go up there. You can uh, check everything out. Um, you know, if you're staying on campus, like I said, about $5,000 will be the cost for the, the calendar year for you to stay on campus. Uh, looks like we're getting a couple more questions in right now. Um, remember students, you know, if you have any further questions, go ahead and log into the chat right now. It'll pull up a synchronous session. You can interact with all the students that we have in here currently, a couple of our guidance counselors, and you can ask any questions you might be interested to get more information from NAU. Um, do you have a major that you see as most popular? while you're you know, working at NAU? Yeah, so the most popular major I have seen, uh, it's more of like the most popular college is the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences because okay. it is that most diverse. It's like the psychology, sociology, criminology, all those majors housed okay. under one college. I would probably say the most popular one that I've seen is probably the psychology, sociology route okay. on our campus, as well as the science degrees are very popular too. Okay. That is our second largest college. Perfect, so again, there you go students. Anybody looking for one of those fields, it's definitely a uh, well-liked program uh, up at NAU. Now, going up to NAU, it's 
very different from being down here in Phoenix very in different. terms of much nicer weather and it's a lot cooler re around. Yes. Um, what about stuff for students to do when they're not taking their classes? What's the, the life outside of, of school like for the students up at NAU? So yeah, outside of life, outside of the classroom, all those clubs I mentioned, the 325 clubs that we have on campus. We also have snowboarding that's about 20 to 30 minutes off campus and they do do student discounting prices on the lift tickets. Awesome. We also have Sedona about 30 minutes south of us, the Grand Canyon about an hour and a half, I would say west of us, uh, northwest of us and just a bunch of hiking around campus as well. Okay, do you guys have any uh, fancy, nice restaurants? Apparently someone is a very uh, <laughs> high quality culinary person on our chat room, so they're curious about any nice restaurants that you might have up in the NAU area. Yeah, so we have 1899, which is on the northern part of our campus. It is a four-star restaurant, and you can use dining dollars, which are part of your meal plans. If you have more questions about that, I'll give you my email as well and you can shoot me an email, but you can use your dining dollars there. It's um, a very nice restaurant. On campus, we have different places such as like Chick-fil-A, Denny's, um, Pizza Hut, Cabrizo's, which is like our version of Chipotle. We have a full subway down on South Campus. And like I was saying, we have 200 different shops, downtown restaurants, Perfect. a lot of mom and pop shops that are awesome to eat at. There you go. All right, looks like that was the last question we had. I want to thank all the students again for participating in the chat room, asking these great questions, keeping the uh, participants from the universities on their toes and uh, getting as much information <laughs> out of them as possible. Again, if you guys are interested in getting more information after we're done with the presentation, please make sure to fill out that short form that's directly below this video. That information will get sent to us and we'll be able to get your information directly to the reps from each of the universities and colleges so they can contact you directly. Again, thank you guys all for tuning in right now. Um, Austin, thank you very much for, you for, for attending. Uh, it was a great presentation. Coming up next, we've got Arizona State University um, and Carlos Barron, who's gonna be walking you guys through the presentation for ASU. Again, remember, log on, check out the, the video that's playing on the PSP homepage, request more information directly below that video from the short form, and if you guys wanna participate in the chat, that is located in the announcement section of the PSP. And thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll be back in about 20 minutes or so with the presentation from ASU.